hello friends in this video I will show you that how we can create infographics template in uh, Adobe Illustrator so we can start with a new document and remember one thing like for uh, infographics template you can select any dimension I will select like uh, in print uh, the default letter and uh, here preset details we will type like infographic template and uh, orientation like landscape I will select and uh, color mode I will select RGB and click on create and now you can see like uh, we have uh, an artboard here so first of all we will create uh, a rectangle here okay and then I will apply some color and outline we will apply no color and we will move this one here and now we will select add anchor point tool and we can add two anchor points like here you can see uh, like here if we want to add so you can see path and this is intersect so this is like middle point midpoint so we can click here and one anchor point we will add here now we will select direct selection tool and from here we will move something here and from here we will move something inside like this so like this we can create and then this is one and uh, one more we will uh, create like press and hold alt and create duplicate and then control D control D control D to repeat the step and this one we will move a bit here and uh, this one also we will move here and uh, these three in same like this one this one and this and now we will uh, right click for this one and transform like uh, reflect and preview we can see like this one and same like right click transform reflect and ok and now we will apply some gradients to these so we can click window and then swatches in swatches if you click here then open swatch library you can see gradients and here you can see like different panels like brights color combinations color harmonies like color combinations if you open you can see like this one so we will open uh, like faders or we will open uh, color harmonies so there are different uh, it depends it depends on you like which one you want to select so I will select something like uh, this one like so first of all we will apply this uh, or uh, like, uh, this one and then this we can apply something like uh, this one and for this we will apply uh, this one and this one we will apply this one and the last one we will apply this one so now you can see we have something like this then uh, the numbers we want to write so you can select text tool uh, this is type tool and click and type like 01 and we can change the size like this we will move this one here and uh, so this one and um, change uh, if you want like font you want to change 
you can change I will apply something uh, like this one and if you want to reduce the space press and hold alt and then left arrow you can see the space will reduce like this and uh, it's white so zero one and press and hold alt and move this one here that's then press and hold alt and uh, make another duplicate same like this one and same one more like this so now this one will be two and uh, this one will be three and uh, the next will be four and the last one will be five so now you can see like this one and control r for rulers and one guide we will create here just to make sure like alignment and also we will make something like here to check the alignment uh, so this one is okay you can see in this one we will move a bit here and also this one we will move here and uh, this one we will move here and uh, now we want to type some text so for text we will select type tool and before this like if you select this and press control plus uh, control plus uh, just a minute create outlines shift plus control plus O so outlines has been created so you can select now this one also shift control O uh, shift control O and also for this one and also this one and also this one now select this press and hold shift and select the background and then press and hold alt and select again now in align window you can vertical align see now it is vertical align same thing for example it is here so you want to make vertical align select this press and hold shift and select background then press and hold alt and select background then vertical align same thing like this one and same thing we can apply here and same thing we can apply here now we will type text so text tool and uh, make some make a box like uh, which you want so we want like something uh, like here something like here till this so we will start from here and this is here like this and then we will apply some color and now we will move from here to this and also we will move from here to this and same like we will move now we will make a guide till here and we will move one like here and one we will move from here to there awesome now we will have to um, like some assets if you want to apply you can apply like I will use a window symbols open symbol library like um, obviously you will select your own symbols uh, but this is just for um, teaching purpose I am using this one 
so this for example we can move here like this in center and then this one we can move from here to there and we will move like here and then uh, like this one we will select uh, this one so symbols also we have used now if you want to remove lines just press control plus semicolon and the lines will disappear so you can see this now if you want like uh, to increase the size of all of them you can increase and our template is ready you can see infographic template so it's very easy like if you want to create infographic template in adobe illustrator i hope you like the video please like the video and also comment and also share the video with your friends and also subscribe my channel thank you very much